What's going on everyone? Miles Turner. It seems like the Indiana Pacers have been trying to move Miles Turner for many years now. And then they traded Sabonis and it looked like, okay, well, they're going to keep Miles Turner. But Miles Turner is an expiring contract after this year. And they have put out that, hey, Miles Turner is available. And he's a hot commodity. I mean, he's still young. He's a, he's a two-way center. Uh, he can knock down the outside shot. He, he's really a solid pickup for any team that might need him. And there is a team that has needed a center for quite some time that has tried to get a center and is now willing to part with this year's draft pick in order to get Miles Turner. And that team is the Charlotte Hornets. Now, the Charlotte Hornets desperately need a center, um, and they have the 15th pick and are rumored to be trying to package the 15th pick in today's draft to go get Miles Turner. Obviously, Indiana, they're rebuilding. They have Miles Turner as an expiring contract if he's available. I mean, you put a, a nice little package together, maybe throw in a player or something, go get Miles Turner. Um, and then Miles Turner is now like, you know, your defensive anchor for this season. He's young enough that he kind of fits the mold of what you got going on with LaMelo, things like that. And you can go and just take uh, his contract and then you can extend him, right? That that would be the beauty thing. And, you know, Miles Turner, I'm sure that there are other teams that are trying to go after him as well. I mean, it's reports all the time now on Miles Turner, Brogdon. All these guys and uh, Miles Turner. Also, there's been lots of talks and rumors, which I've touched on before of, uh, you know, a uh, Miles Turner for Aiton swap uh, because the Phoenix Suns need him. So I'm going to be really interested to see how this develops. Obviously, it's draft night. So, you know, there's going to be all kinds of trades, all kinds of announcements, uh, things along those lines. Uh, p- players, you know, swapping, trading up, trading down, getting key players. And there's going to be that one that you're just like, wow, I didn't see that coming. Um, You know, so maybe Miles Turner is that, but it does make a ton of sense for the Hornets. Uh, Like I said, they've needed a center for quite some time. That's kind of the one position that they lack more than anything. There's also all the talks of them trading Rozier and uh, Hayward to the Lakers for Russell Westbrook. Whether you make that trade or not, you still go get Miles Turner if that's available. If that's really an option, you make that happen because, I mean, now you got your defensive anchor. Even if you trade Hayward and Rozier, you still got your defensive guy. And if they do get, uh, if they do get uh, Miles Turner, then I have to admit that the the likelihood of that Lakers trade being legit, which it is rumored that it is being put out there, like, hey, you know, this is a real thing. If that is real then it makes sense that they would do that more now than ever because they get Miles Turner. So look out. If they get Miles Turner, don't be shocked if they turn around and and end up making that trade after June 29th when Westbrook is is able to be traded because you need to clear cap for LaMelo. Uh, Miles Bridges, he's a restricted. You need to sign him. And then if you go get Miles Turner... After this season, he's an expiring contract. You have to re-sign him. So if they get Miles Turner, I think Hayward and Rogier are gone. I really do. And then you have that Miles Turner, LaMelo pairing. Uh, you still have P.J. Washington. You got Miles Bridges. I mean, that's a pretty good, solid core. You know, that's a pretty good start for your team to kind of build for the future. And like I said, Miles Turner, he's on the right side of 30. He's not too old. Uh, LaMelo, it's going to be, you know, he'll have that that big, small, uh, you know, combination that he hasn't had since he came to the Hornets. I mean, this is just, this is a win-win for the Charlotte Hornets, however you look at it. You're likely not going to get anybody at 15 that is going to be as good as Miles Turner. Um, and even if you do, it's probably going to take several years. Where they're, they're Charlotte is not in a re like they're good enough to borderline be a playoff team but they're not good enough to get there you know they're not a contender but they're not bad enough to where you know it's like let's just you know let's just restart take Lamelo, and like they're they're in that like weird stage but they're so young that there's time for them to grow you know it's time for them to get better you know, maybe next year they go get Miles Turner. Next year, you know, they, they make it to the first round. Like, not a play-in, nothing like that, because they've made it to the play-in the last two years, got eliminated in the play-in. But let's say they just go, they get to uh, the actual, you know, the first round of the playoffs this time. They lose. Let's say even if they get swept, it's an improvement. The following year, they get to the first round and they, you know, they lose in six. Like, 
Again, improvement. That's the goal. Just see some improvement. See some growth with this team, some chemistry, some development. I mean, look at all the teams that were really successful these last few years. You know, you had the Celtics, the Warriors, you know, the the, the Phoenix Suns. Outside of Chris Paul, everything's homegrown. You know, like all of these, the, the Milwaukee Bucks, all of these teams that are really good, they're all these homegrown uh, teams, and then they just go and get like that one other guy. You know, does Miles Turner make Charlotte a contender? No, I don't think so, but I think he makes them, he's a, he's a step in the right direction. He's a step that will make you a much better team. He can, he's, like I said, he's a two-way center. He can do so much on both ends of the court, and that's what you ultimately need. That's what you really need. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think about the Charlotte Hornets potentially trading their first round pick, number 15, for Miles Turner in this year's draft? Uh, you know, obviously, like I said, there's probably going to be a player or something added in. Um, but that what's being reported is that they're willing to part with number 15 to go get Miles Turner. What, are you all for this? You think, yes, do whatever you have to go get Miles Turner. Do you think, no, it's no big deal. Like Miles Turner isn't a, really a needle mover. Um, or what do you think if you're a Pacers fan? You know, if you're on the Pacers side, do you think that this would be a good trade for the Pacers? Rebuilding team, go get a top 15 pick. Uh, you know, how do you feel about it? Love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.